first I'm going to prep my lips with um, some rose salve. I let that sit and soak into my lips so that when it's time for me to put on my lipstick and my lip gloss that everything just is smooth. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to use MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. I don't put anything else underneath this. The only thing that's on my eyelid is nothing. So I just use my finger, but if I were to use this on anybody else at any time, I would always use a brush. So I'm going to put it all over my lid, my highlight area, and underneath my lash line. I have honestly seen a um, a lot of purple looks on the fall slash winter 2010-2011 runways. Um, I only search online. I don't really go to anything. I was inspired by the purple look, but I'm going to use my own take on the purple situation because I've seen like purple smoky I've seen pastel purple the first color I'm going to take is from covergirl and it's called purple pop and I'm going to use a flat shader brush which I was um, yep I'm going to use a flat shader brush which is going to be my MAC 239 but the numbers are kind of rubbed off and I'm going to pile it on and I'm going to put it all over my lid Get the whole lid area from corner to corner now when I use this brush and I use like a lid color or the majority of my colors I just take it and I just tap the color on my lid so that there's less fallout and there's more color payoff the next color I'm going to use is from Milani it's called shock it's a nice pretty purple it reminds me of um, stars and rockets from Mac and then I'm just going to use some kind of cheap, larger dome brush, but it's not stiff. It's kind of loose. So I'm going to use it as um, in the um, crease area, but it's going to as well blend out the edge of the CoverGirl eyeshadow. And you don't have to tap it on. I would just put very little on and just blend it out. Me personally, I like to go quite a bit up high and just leave a little bit of room for the highlight. So I try to tend to bring my eyeshadow pretty much up to here because when I put on my highlight, it blends out most of that color up there. The next color I'm going to use is from Glamour Doll. It's called Glam Girl, and it's this nice, really dark, pretty purple. This is one of my favorite purples. The brush I'm going to use is just a small crease brush. So what I'm going to do is put it, make like a line, tap it, and then blend it out like that I put it I tapped it on the um, outer one-third of my eye and I swept it up a little bit and now I'm going to blend it out
For my highlight, I'm going to use Revlon Hip um, Pigments. And this one's in 102 Exciting. And it's a frosty white slash pink. I just like to use just, um, just an angled brush. Nothing too exciting. See, and then I blend the highlight down into here so that everything blends and meshes well into each other. And I didn't use um, a highlight with just white or beige because I kind of wanted to tie in a little bit of pink since pink and purple work so good together. Now I'm going to take a really matte light lavender um, eyeshadow from um, Milani and it's called Fiji Flower and I'm just going to use this small dome brush like really small it's just enough just to put into the tear duct and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put this color in the tear duct area and blend it out the shimmer from our base um from Bare Study Paint Pot is going to bring a little bit of shimmer underneath the matte eyeshadow so it's not just a plain flat matte eyeshadow.